Hello, everybody. Hello, Katya. So, hello. So, I'm very, very happy to present to everybody here who is listening Katya, who is creating her very first online course. And I do this interview in English because her online course is in English. So, I hope you all understand English here. I'm very, very happy to welcome Katya here on this interview because Katya and I, we know each other because we were dancing in Brussels. I saw her performing and I really loved her. Perhaps you know her if you're watching here, you saw her in Brussels and I always loved how she has something so sweet and so such an energy to when she is dancing. And so this is why I'm very proud that she is doing this first online course where you can subscribe and register for free. So Katya, hello. I'm so happy you, you are here. Can you tell me what is the title from this online course and how comes you wanted to create an online course? How, what, what brought you there? Yes, hello everyone. Nice to be here. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous for my uh, <laughs> direct answer here. <laughs> so yeah. my uh, online course is called Dancerness and the subtitle is uh, Master Your Strengths and Go Grow to Be a Dancing Queen. Well, um, Wonderful title, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, this idea for this um, maybe this direction of the of the online course came uh, much from Gudrun because uh, we we spoke and since I joined uh, the Somba uh, online uh, business uh, training, so um, yeah, we were talking with Gudrun and. Uh, I don't know how well. Yeah, you did a yeah. sir. Actually, you did a survey. Yes. I think people yeah. on my page they yeah. perhaps they saw the survey. Yeah. I hope you participated anyways on my page here. <laughs> uh, because yeah, I had like uh, I had quite a lot of uh, responses. I still have to do the the price draw. I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You had a lot of answers to the survey. This is really fantastic, which yeah. means that people are interested and I'm very yeah. happy people are. This inner denserness, it's such a beautiful uh, thing. So what are you going, what is your idea or what you are going to teach? Because this is a better course you are creating, your first one, and it is for free because you are creating it together with the participants with what they need, what you see, what they need, you will go into this and can give them, yeah, give them a sort of traveling to what you want to teach. So what is your idea? What, what do you, what um, is well, it? Well, my idea, as you said, uh, I got many responses for the, for the survey and in many, many uh, responses, there were people telling me of lack of confidence, uh, when they are performing or they are very nervous or they don't manage to transmit what they want to transmit when they're on stage. And uh, so they would uh, like to have more stage presence or more confidence or something like that. So that's uh, something that I related to because I am a, a, yeah. <laughs> Inside of me, I'm a kind of a shy person, but um, on stage, all of that uh, doesn't seem to show. <laughs> yeah, Even this though, is so right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah, people tell me, you know, that, oh, you are so, you know, you are glowing or something like that. And I was still nervous and I, I have had to work myself a lot to, to be able to master this, uh, this nervousness and, and fear of. Uh, going in front of people. And also um, another thing is that um, I would like, I would like my, myself as an audience, I would like to see more soul <laughs> in, the, in the dance, dances and dancers that I see. There are a lot of people who are very good dancers and who, are, uh, who have a very good stage presence, but there's always, you know, more that you can work on. And, um, yeah, my background is uh, my background is really Egyptian uh, classical style and folklore. So I am kind of uh, 
wanting to go a little bit back to the roots. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is really yeah. and yeah. more like uh, having, you know, how how would I say? Well, less is more. <laughs> less is more. You know what my uh, my dance guru I would talk uh, uh, sell say say he uh, it was Ibrahim Farah. I don't know yeah. if you knew him. He yes. is dead and so on. Not personally, no. Yeah, and I, I took uh, courses with him, and this was his mantra, less is more. And he was seeing big dancers, and he always said, she's killing it. She's yeah. overdoing too much yeah. choreography, too yeah. much, too long. And yeah. uh, this is, for me, a sign when I see this from inner insecurity. You yeah. are wanting to do so much because you feel not enough. And uh, he was the one I saw in a show, and I will never get this moment. He was staying in the middle of the, the stage, and he was just doing shimmy and, and gestures and emanating with his presence. Yeah. This was nearly all he was doing during the whole dance, and we were all in the, in the public, like, sort of crying and completely being moved. Yeah. And I think this is something where, in your course, what people can learn. Yeah. How can you be so connected that you just and, and, and enjoy? Because when I see you dance, you are just completely into it. And also you have this way we're talking about the musicality. I think it's so important because Oriental dance is about very often. I, I, it's about improvisation, being there uh, in the flow with the music. And this is something you will also teach. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. I, for me, um there is no dance without music so everything for me starts from the music whether it's improvisation or choreography i don't mind i know that there are people who always love to do choreography there are people who always want to improvise i don't mind everything both are good i, I love both but the start point is always the music and the music you have to feel it and you have to love it because otherwise you can't show your love if you don't love it. And uh, this is one of my, uh, I think I'm one of my first subjects that I'm going to uh, work on on the course is uh, the musicality, the relation to the music and um, uh, how, you know, we talked about this <laughs> with you, Gudrun, how you can be the instrument, visiting the instruments in the music. I, I love this. Uh, you, how can you be the instrument visiting the other instrument? Yeah. I think it's, you know, what you are teaching, um, I think it's so much needed. How many beautiful dancers do I see on stage? Beautiful woman, highly skilled, perfect costume, perfect makeup. And what is missing? You have a feeling that this is a machine dancing and and what is missing is this connection to themselves and to the music mm -hmm. sometimes they even dance with the choreo and they are not connected to the music so you can feel this yeah and and it's like if they don't feel the music oriental dance is so much about feeling and isn't it that this course is for oriental dancers but this is all over with dancers you want to have the feeling yeah, I'm not, I didn't restrict this course uh, ah. by saying this is to Oriental dancers. So nowhere in the description of my course, I'm saying Oriental or Egyptian dance or anything. Ah. So all the dancers are welcome. Of course, my background is uh, Egyptian dance and Oriental dance. So of course, that's a uh, little bit uh, directing me. Uh, but since we are talking about uh, general generality in, in, in performance, I think this could work also for other dancers. So mm. I don't know, maybe this course will be more oriented to oriental dancers, but maybe later I can have the privilege to work with other other mm. dancers as well. I would like to because I'm, I'm, I'm also keen to learn, learn from other other people as well. Yes, and I um, I know uh, my daughter, she was into oriental dance and all kind of other dances. Yes. And it is kind of the same. Uh, it's not, uh, well, as soon as you see a dancer, you want this dancer to express an emotion. Yeah. And I think uh, actually, as I see it, and probably you agree to it, 
in oriental dance, you can improvise. In this other dances, perhaps flamenco is different or something, but in the other dances, very much, uh, very often, you're just bound to, to the choreography. And I think if you're in choreography, it's even more difficult to, to have the choreography so you can do it when you sleep or something and you have these emotions in there. You are yourself even if you do a choreography. Yeah. And I think the Oriental dance is the perfect dance to learn to be fully into this feminine energy and also in, the, in, in, in this improvisation and in being authentic. Because yeah. you, I always said, um, perhaps it's changing now, but in Oriental dance, you really dance with your soul. You cannot do anything else. It is so visible what you are, who you are. And when you try to not show it, just the people will just see emptiness. And you want, you want to show a, 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 a person full of joy and love and light, as you were saying, yeah. isn't it? Yes. And uh, about, for example, other dances, my, I have uh, quite, quite some experience in flamenco as well, not as, as, as a teacher, but uh, as a dance uh, aficionada, <laughs> yeah, yeah. as we say. But also in flamenco, uh, the top of the top is always improvisation. improvisation so when you have yeah. enough experience and when you know your music, you know the cues in the music, even if the music is played live, but you know from the cues what's going to come next. So you are really uh, living and dancing in the moment. But that is uh, difficult, for, at least for me, because I am a, my soul is... A, Egyptian dancer, so, <laughs> so but um, yeah. um, what did I want to say? You said about everything, uh, you know, everything being perfect and, uh, and beautiful. And sometimes it, it can actually um, kind of, uh, how would I say, hide your soul when you are so perfect on the outside. I mean, your costumes, you have all the diamonds and all mm. the paillettes, uh, paillettes. <laughs> and bling bling and your hair is big and you're tossing your hair and you're kicking your legs and you're doing all the acrobatic movements with your body so we don't have time to feel your emotions because there is so much decoration around it so this is something that um i don't mind of course everyone has their style but i have to say that my uh, most beautiful dance moments i have had when I have, as when in the audience, no. I have had when I, it was maybe not the youngest dancer, not the uh, slimmest, not the most fashionable costume, but you know, when you see that the person loves the music and she's inside the music, of course you need some technicality, of course you need experience, of course you need to rehearse, of course you need to work on your choreography, but in the end, what what shows is that you are in love with your music yeah 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 also it's a wonderful so katya of course you are giving this course uh, for free which is a wonderful uh, uh opportunity for so many dancers what would you tell somebody if uh, if there is a student in front of you what would you tell so she comes to this course what would you say uh, come and create this course with me, <laughs> as this is my first and it's a better round. So uh, I'm also kind of doing my uh, a stash <laughs> in this. Uh, I have a structure that if you come in now, you have your possi a possibility to, to uh, have an influence on what will be taught. Yes, I, I'm really very open to feedback and uh, um, or already during the course, you know, you can give me feedback and give me uh, yeah. some ideas what you want to learn. So, yes, yeah, it's, yeah it, it's an it's an incredible adventure. It's really, I think, a super privilege to be in this course because you the people who are in there will learn so much from you. But will also be able to, to have an impact on the course, how you create it as a group uh, of dancers. And this is like kind of magic. It will be four weeks with four steps, uh, which will be created along the, the, the time. 
uh, together with these people. So you have one module coming out every Monday, if I understood this well. And then you have a question and answer session on Friday or Thursday something. They can answer questions. It has a Facebook group where they can share their experience and you will be there to help them with everything they say. So it will yeah. be interactive. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and it's completely online, um, very easy format, um, not difficult for people. You will not like give them homework for two hours a day. It will be no, easy, no, no. easy. Yeah. No, it's it's like I like uh, I, I the video comes out in the beginning of the week and there is always a theme that we're gonna work on. And of course, uh, if you participate, you have to work on the theme on, on your own time. But I'm not saying that you have to do it every day at this hour and this many hours. You yeah. give the time that you can give, of course, the best best you can give, the, the, the more you, you can get take, from it. Yeah, take and then, time. Uh, of course, if you have questions, you, you will have a place in the Facebook group to put your questions, and I will answer them uh, in the end, end of the week, maybe, like you said, maybe Friday. Yeah. We will see. We can we can also work on it with what is the best moment for that. Yeah. So yeah. Katya, I wish you really all the best and a lot of success. And to everybody who is listening here, what I would like you to do is share this with all the people you know who could learn from this, who this would be really great to have this course. Yes, <laughs> really, please do so, because you will do a favor to all your friends who have never perhaps had a person like Katya to teach this. It is very difficult to find this sort of content teached in an online form offline i don't even know but if it is offline you have to be near to the place and you have to have to like the teacher you have to have to go there to in online you can work on it whenever you are free you have the content and you do it when you are free in the evening in the morning lunch break whenever and how often and this is just fantastic you get Katya's feedback and I would really invite you if you're not interested yourself or uh, then please please share it and if you have any questions, you can just always ask Katya. Uh, she will be there to answer you everything. Course is starting on 17 of February. So you still have a little bit of time to think about it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. There is, uh, the doors are closed. And when the doors are closed, you are not getting in. And you will in for the Facebook group, you will get a let, uh, an email which explains everything. So everything is super organized. I know Katya, she's really very structured person and super, yeah, super kind. So please share it. Come if you are interested. If you have questions, Katya is there. And let's uh, make this a, so such a fantastic experience. And I'm very looking forward to see you and see everybody uh, in the group. I think I self, I will be joining because I love to learn. And I never took classes with you, Katya. So this will be my chance to do so. <laughs> Yeah. Good. And don't worry. We can. You can all dance during the class, even if it's an online class. <laughs> yes. Yes. There is no limit of creativity and and what you. And I'm sure we will be standing up instead of sitting, and and we'll be doing movements and dance. And yeah, it's so much fun. It's really incredible. So Katya, best of luck. A lot of success, and I'm sure you will have so many people. Thank you <laughs> for being here in this interview. Thank you for everybody to listen, and I see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Gudrun.